Thank you for watching Dog Rescue TV. Subscribe to Dog Rescue TV and stay a while. Let's save some dogs. Okay. So we yeah. received a call from a tree trimmer in this area reporting that there was um, three dogs in, in poor condition, um, one severely emaciated, the other two sort of skinny, um, one with an injured eye. So we did uh, come out here. We tried to make contact with a person living in this house. Nobody answered the door. Um, and we are going to enter here. We entered on the property to the left. We were given permission by the homeowner and now we've received permission to enter this property also. Okay, so what we're looking at here is three dogs in extremely poor condition. We see these, these two dogs are in very, they are in, they're thin, but this dog especially is emaciated. So this is extremely, extremely bad. Um, and he's, he's, um, look at this dog. Look at that. That's disgusting. That's one word for that is fucking disgusting. Hi, buddy. Tom. We got people up front here. They're here? Yeah. You're on. You get your camera on. Your dogs look, look at this look at the condition of your dog we received well well have you had him to a vet's office no i haven't took him to a vet the owner is going to take him to a vet but i was in okay um, are you are you the owner of, are you the owner of this these dogs well, well, these dogs are in bad condition too. There's no. Where is their food and water? Actually, it's not the now. Actually, that one food and water is over there. That food and water is right there. But you do understand that you. This dog needs to go to a vet right now. Right. The owner of this dog. I've been telling her that. She says she's going to come. And Can get I get her information? Can I get her number? She don't have a call actually, but she comes over here to try to bring dog food. But the dog that I had that was sitting right here. They got into a fight and that dog got sick but, from it. But like what, that dog been sick for like last two weeks, maybe. Well, why, if you know two dogs, first of all, I don't see any bite wounds on this dog, but I know I'm not close enough. But this body condition, uh -huh. has he been getting fed? Yeah, every day they get fed every day. He's been the sickest one. That's why he's been getting fed more because he's been the sickest one. Like, them two, she goes like that every summer when she come outside. She's a real active dog. But that's even what, active dogs, when they're given the proper food, don't get in those conditions, and she's pulling a heavy chain. I mean, you actually, do, you, that chain is actually lighter than what it looked like. Do these dogs ever go inside? Yeah, the dogs stay in the house all winter. Actually, these two are house dogs. They are house broken. This dog we got from her sister that she's going to come over there and take care of, but she doesn't. But them two dogs right there are house broken. I can take them off the chain right now, and they will actually run right into the house. Well, you do, you do understand that this dog can't sit out here like this, right? What do you mean sit out there like well, that? Well, look at his body condition. Correct. I understand he was sick, though. Like, I can't do nothing when you get sick like that. Well, take, you take him to the vet or surrender him to animal control or anybody so that he ain't sitting back here like this. Look at, I mean, look at his body condition. Let me have my wife call because I'm not about to go through, you know, like arguments about it because I know this dog when I first got this dog this dog was super healthy like was bigger than all of them put together but he got sick when he fought this dog that was right here that's why this dog is no longer here I have a brother come and get his dog back here. but this is how dog how dogs usually get in that condition isn't from fighting with another dog it's, it's usually from not lack of food no they I with them every week they I got a 50 pound bag of dog food that's at my door right now that I feed them every day but what? this dog got sick, like it was actually got sick where he, he wasn't even eating. Like 
the birds is eating his food. That's how sick he got. Well, I got some food in my truck. Let me throw him some food and see what happens. Oh, you don't eat it. Because, see, that's why I'm saying, because you see how his belly looks, how his getting fatter, because he was not eating, period. Well, like I just got him back to eat. Are, your, him are your are your dogs vaccinated? Are your dogs vaccinated? Because if he's yeah, got, both of them got shots right there. All right. So you're gonna call the owner of this dog for me real quick. Hi, bud. How you doing? Sit down. So, do you know the owner of this dog right here? That's my sister's dog. Well, what's wrong with the dog? It's in bad condition. Look, we're trying to get it back to him. That's my sister's dog. So, she left it here? It's abandoned? or? No, she actually said the dog stay here. We feed it and everything. But it doesn't look like it's being fed because you well, see... Yeah, we have permission from the owner of this property to be here. We called them first. Then stay over there. Don't be well, I'm going to bring the police here next, and then somebody's going to go to jail for animal cruelty. It's no cruelty. We can't all have That's considered cruelty. I, I'm an actual cruelty investigator. That's cruelty. That must be the sister. Could you tell her everything you just told me, please? I ain't all on TV because I'm on parole. Don't do that. I'll do it from behind. Well, don't put me on TV. Period. I won't. I won't. I'll get right behind him so you can't TV, see. I'm not going to talk because I'm on parole and that ain't going to happen. Okay. But when I brought my dog over here because I moved into an apartment, my dog was a perfectly good health. Something in that backyard is eating him up. I gave him a seven and a one, a seven one shot, and I've been feeding him horses. I haven't been over here in like two months. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know how he looking now. But two months ago, I gave him a seven and one, and I gave him horses. So he eats, I go every other month and get him a big bag of dog food, all of that. But you haven't been here, right? They've, they've right. been in charge and taken right. care of the dog. So when I But he's my dog. If y'all want him, I'll surrender him to okay. y'all. But all of this is unnecessary. You know what I'm saying? Well, they're being combated with him. Okay, but I don't know. That's why she called me. It's my dog. Right, but she's not taking care of your dog. You know what she told me? She said the dog's like that from jumping over the fence. That's no, he's been getting ate up by something. If you, if I take well, you and let you look at him, you can feel that something's been eaten on him. Then, those are probably flies, but then the gentleman said that it's from getting into a fight with another dog. Again, yeah, he did. He got loose to get into a fight with a dog. Right, which which maybe, maybe that's the case, but the thing is, that's not why the dog would be in that condition. Right. The dog wouldn't be in that. That's from probably not eating. I mean, when I get the dog, I guarantee you, in a week, he won't look like that. Right. We'll take him to the vet. We'll have him checked out. We'll, we'll get him the food that he needs and make sure that he's taken care of properly. How old is this dog? Uh, he one. You, he's only one year old? Mm -hmm. He looks terrible. I mean, I haven't seen him in two months, like I said. I mean, weren't I you shocked? Into apartment. Weren't you shocked when you when saw him? When I seen him the first time, yeah, but I gave him a seven and one, like I said. You know what I'm saying? I went and got him a seven and one. I shot him up and I went and bought him some horse meat with a big bag of dog food. But like, it was four dogs here. You know what I'm saying? They still got two. My brother came and got his dog because his dog and my dog got into the fight. Right. You know what I'm saying? But you can't have two boy dogs with a girl dog because they're going to fight over this girl. Okay. You know what I'm saying? They're going to be territorial over this dog. You know right. what I'm saying? So they got into a fight. I um, rubbed him down with Vaseline, the little one. You know what I'm saying? But it's something back there that's eating on his ears and stuff. Like, yeah, you know, flies. Honestly, was... They're under form? Yep. What do you call that dog? What's his name? What's his name? Matt. Come on, Matt. Come on. I got you. Hey, Max. How you doing, bud? He's friendly. He'll walk without that. Hey, Max. Hey, good boy. You want me to uh, type my name where it's Yeah, he can. Thank you very much. Thank you. Come on, Max. Mm -hmm. Come on, bud.
Go boy, come on. You're a good boy. Come on. You poor fellow. You poor guy. Life shouldn't be this hard for a sweet boy. Come on up. Yeah, you're ready. You're ready to go for a ride, aren't you? You okay? Come on. Come on, I'm gonna take you and get you some good treats. Now look at that. This is not the way a dog's body condition should look. Look at him. He's a good boy. Are you kidding me? He's a little cutie. So what's gonna happen now with him? Now he's going to the vet's office to receive the proper care. Oh, no, Which vet you going to? Center line. All right. How uh, how old do you think the dog is? He's one years old. This is not phenomenal. I I'll verify that at the vet's office. We'll have a full range of blood work done on him. This is from poor nutrition and lack of care, and being left outside in these elements. That's the that's why this dog is in this condition. Probably since he was a puppy. Probably. Just like their other puppies. Yeah. yeah. Thank you for watching Dog Rescue TV. You're helping save dogs by watching this video. That's all for now. See you again soon.